I'm starting off with my hair. I washed it today and I am going to use a hair serum first and I'm just going to apply it all over my hair. This will take care of the frizz. It will make sure that my hair looks nice and shiny and curly but not frizzy. After this, I am going to use a heat protectant mist and I'm going to focus it on my ends. You need to focus it on the lengths of your hair and especially your ends because ends take most of the damage and they are most vulnerable. The main product that maintains volume and holds the curls is a hair mousse. If you have very fine hair which is silky or if you have virgin hair, make sure that you get a hair mousse that has strong hold. This also gives beautiful shine to your hair. I generally skip this if I'm not curling my hair. After this, I am going to blow dry my hair very casually. I'm not styling it at this point. I just want it to be completely dry. This is how my hair looks after drying. Now before curling your hair, you have to straighten it to make it more manageable. I'm roughly straightening my strands because my hair is already manageable so I don't have to straighten them a lot. After straightening, you want to give your hair a few minutes. You should not fry your hair with heat continuously. It's very damaging so you just straighten it and wait for a few minutes before curling. And in that time, I am going to do my makeup. I'm going to start off with a primer. This is a pore blurring and mattifying primer. I'm going to do a very soft brown look today. It looks very flattering on Indian skin tone. It's a warm toned brown look. For color correcting, I'm using the K-Beauty Concealer in 130P. This has a pink undertone and it cancels brown. So it's amazing for hyperpigmentation and dark circles. After this, I will be using the Flower Beauty Blush Balm Color Drops for my cheeks and I tried a technique that I saw on Instagram but it didn't work for me. So I'm just going to blend it normally with my fingers. After this, I use the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation in 155 White Tan and I'm applying a light layer of this foundation all over my face and blending it in with a sponge. By the way, this is the Mars Wonder Blender. After this, I am going to use the L'Oreal Full Wear Concealer. This is extremely full coverage. That's why I'm applying tiny dots under my eyes, on my forehead and my chin. And I'm going to blend all of it in with the Mars Wonder Blender again. If you want more coverage, you can use a concealer brush. I normally use my Pack 218 Concealer Brush. For setting my under eyes, I will be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in light medium. And now we are going to contour our face. And for cream contour, I will be using the Lakme 9 to 5 Concealer in Cocoa. You can skip this step if you want to. I am using this to give a little bit dimension to my face. After this, I am going to fill in my eyebrows and brush them up using an eyebrow gel. This is the Nykaa Eyebrow Definer and for eyebrow gel, I am going to use the Huda Beauty Balm Brows. Eyebrow gel, this is very small hair like fiber in it so it makes your eyebrows look very full. For my eyeshadow, I will be using the Double Chocolate Chip Eyeshadow Palette from Nykaa. I'm just going to use a couple of matte shades from this palette and a shimmer shade. This palette has some beautiful brown shades. I'm focusing the brown shades into my crease and the outer corner. After this, I am going to pick up this light shimmer shade and apply it on my eyelid. Then I'm running this warm brown matte shade on my lower lash line. And after this, I am going to use a bronzer. This is the Wet n Wild bronzer. This again is warm toned, so it's going to give more warmth to your face. And it looks very good with a warm brown makeup look. Mm -hmm. 
for blush i'm going to use the mua blushed matte blush this one is in the shade rouge punch i don't know why the camera washed it out completely but it's a beautiful deep pink shade After this, I am going to spray my face with a setting spray. This one is from Seri. It's the Seri Set It All Setting Mist. For powder highlighter, I will be using the Pack Killer Glow Highlighter in Soft Sun. I'm also going to apply the highlighter in my inner corner. Now for defining my eyes, I am going to use the Huda Beauty Life Liner Duo Eyeliner. I'm using the pencil side of this eyeliner and defining my eyes a bit. So I'm just going to tight line using the pencil side and smudging out the eyeliner a bit. After this, I am going to curl my eyelashes and apply a coat of mascara. So, I am going to contour my lips today, for which I will be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer in Dark Cocoa. I'm just going to line my lips with this first. And after that, I am going to take a small brush and smudge it out a bit. Make sure that you don't smudge it out a lot. This is a really good brown color that has an olive kind of undertone. And for lipstick, I will be using the Rufa Beauty Matte Bullet Lipstick in 08. This again is a brown nude shade. Once the makeup is done, we are going to curl the hair. I use a straightener to curl my hair because I find it really easy to curl short hair with a straightener. You want to place the strand in the center, press the straightener, give it a turn, preferably away from your face and just slide it out. Now this isn't going to be a cakewalk if you're doing it for the first time. You just need a little bit of practice. I think you will get a hang of it after doing it a couple of times. But yeah, I think that straightener is the most helpful curling tool when it comes to curling short hair. You need to divide your hair into sections and once you are done with a section, you can spray it with some hairspray to keep the curls in place. Now, I don't need a lot of sections because I have really fine hair. Now, you can alternate the curls too, for example, one towards your face and the other away from your face. But I find that all the curls away from the face looks more systematic and flattering on me and it's also easy to do it that way. You also have to make sure that you don't take very thick sections when you're curling because then you won't be able to curl your hair especially if you have virgin hair it's very very difficult to curl virgin hair so yeah you have to make sure that you're taking small sections In the end, you just have to flip your hair down and run your fingers through it. And along with that, what I like doing is combing out my hair. That just softens the curls. And these curls last for about 6 to 8 hours on my hair. But overall, this is my favorite curly hairstyle. It makes my hair look so voluminous, so shiny and not frizzy. You can see there is minimal frizz. And yeah, this is a very, very casual look. Hope you guys like it. Hope you find it helpful. And this is how I curl my hair in almost all of my videos where I have curly hair. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.